Have you ever come across an error on your computer or some violation, a little window that pops up and says, hey, this is violating something or this isn't going to work? So you call up tech support and you give them the information. They say, okay, what exactly did it say? And you're like, uh, I can't remember. It had some code. The error was like X, C, D, something. And then they ask, what are the steps? And you can't remember the steps. Well, Windows 7 has what's called the Problem Steps Recorder. It can record each step that you do that leads up to your error and saves it, the images, in an MHTML file, in other words, like a web page file, but it's MHTML because it can cram everything into, or the contents thereof, the images, into one file. And you can then email that to your tech geek who can see the steps you performed that led to the error. And you can actually also write notes on each step. Now when I say each step that it records, basically anytime you click the mouse, it takes a snapshot of your screen. So if you get an error, click anywhere on the screen and it'll take a snapshot of the screen including that error. Let's go ahead and do this. To be able to turn on the problem steps recorder come down here and click on the start button go to the control panel then come up here in the search control panel and type in problem and then down below there it is record steps to reproduce a problem. Click on it there's the recorder. So I can go ahead and close out of here my recorder still there and then just go ahead and click start. Now when you click start recording, sure the timer's going by and you're probably like, ah, I better get moving or doing something. No, it's just going to go ahead and record the clicks that you make. So if I click here, it records it. If I come over here and double click and open that up, it actually takes a snapshot of that. And when I click here, notice that when I click, it looks like a little red softball. I don't want to click too many times because it's recording all those pictures there. So if I go ahead and I open up, let's say the uh, castle, double click on that, and then I get an error. I can go ahead and click again to take a snapshot of the screen. And if I need to add a comment to this part of the screen, I can come up here and click Add Comment. It opens up a little box down below, and I can say something like, See, this is the error. And then click Okie Dokie. So when you're done, go ahead and click on Stop Record. It'll open up a window, and it'll try to save it as a zip file. In other words, it's trying to compress the uh, file into zip format because the file, the MHTML file, can be compressed into a zip file, make it a smaller file size. If you don't have zip on your computer, then it'll just probably say down below MHTML, which case, either way, you want to give the name of the file, whether it's a zip file or an MHTML file. Type in the file's name, and then be sure to save it to your desktop. I'm going to come over here, click Desktop. I'm already there. Click Save. It saves it. I'm going to go ahead and close out of the recorder close out of these screens here. There it is on my desktop. So I can go ahead and email this to my tech geek. He can double click and again I have WinZip installed on my computer. If the tech geek doesn't have WinZip or you don't have WinZip installed on your computer it's going to be an MHTML file. In any case I have WinZip installed. It says do you want to go ahead and check for updates for WinZip the program. I'll close out and say no. And it wants to install WinZip on my computer. I already have it installed, but I just don't have it set up on this user login, my training login. I have it on all the other logins, Dreamforce, the other people who log in to the same computer under a different user login name and password. In any case, I can say WinZip Classic. I don't want to go through the wizard, I just want to go with the typical WinZip program. It opens it up and says, there's the file. Do you want to go ahead and just click and drag that to your desktop to extract it out of the uh, compressed zip file? Once I click and drag it to the desktop, I can go ahead and close out of it. And then it's trying to be helpful. It says, next time you start WinZip, do you want to go ahead and do you want to be able to continue with the wizard interface or just go with the classic interface next time I start WinZip? I'll say classic. In any case, there's the file. And then if I double click on it, it opens up and it shows that the recorder worked. First of all, when I made the first click, let me scroll down, it took a snapshot of my screen here, as you can see over here. And then it labeled it problem step one with the first click, the date and the time, and then what I did, user left double click, opened up the exercises folder, scroll down, here's the next step or the next click that I made, user left click on item view in the exercises. So if I just click in the folder as I did a couple of times to demonstrate that when you click you get that little red softball or baseball that comes up, it's recording it. And then when I go down here, when I finally double clicked and opened up the image, well let me go up here, it says double click to open up this image, this is the result of the image, and then remember how I made a comment on the image and when I clicked on on this bar here add a comment that the image became a little bit filmy and then I could type in the box 
well there's the filmy image and as you recall when I add the comment it opened up a little box down below that I can type in the comment so it not only took a snapshot of the time that I made the comment with the uh, image becoming a little bit kind of filmy here where I can't see the image clearly and then up above it, it gave me the comment user comment see this is the error that happened when I clicked on the image after I opened up the image and then down below to get even more nitty-gritty the additional details it breaks it down in the text format problem step one so if they want to go ahead and escalate this to another IT support person and they don't go off of image just actual text well you got the additional text down below problem step one the program that I used Windows Explorer what version all the details that I made user left click double click and then the comment in the last problem step see this is an error that happens and so on so that's a lot of information to help your IT geek be able to figure out what you're doing and if it's your problem or if it's actually the computer's problem. Let me go ahead and close out. So all you need to do is go ahead and attach this file if it's your MHTML file or when you stopped recording and saved it, if it's saved it in a zip file, just go ahead and attach it to an email. Email your tech geek and, and hopefully they'll be able to figure it out and give you an answer back shortly. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for all my training, please visit me at my website, dreamforce.us.